All right, keep going. Okay, so we have tool three. We'll go to MDI, background end, G150T3. Close the door. So you're you're passing T3 into G150, which is passing it all the way to yeah, the so macro 9017. Yep. Okay. So like if we single block it, should see how it just jumped into 9017 and now that'll go to T3 because that's what that's what it was in the other one and see how it, it changed the, the pound 20 to 3 because that's the oh. very that's the number that's cool so I'm going to turn single block off so now we're we're in 9915 which is probably called the 9917 Oh, it, if it, is, are you trying to move now? Yeah. Yeah, you need to hold this in. You need to lie to it. Oh, okay. And say that it's clamped. Now it's. So I understand it's hard to change, but you know, that's nice. Now we just touch the tool and just touch that off. Perfect. Now that is more like it. Yes. I've been I've been building. I have. Everyone gives me a lot of shit because I, I like to write macros a lot, and but it's really useful. So so that is exactly what we were looking for. Yeah, and, and I kind of figured, so that's why as soon as we were talking on the way over here, it's like, it takes no time at all to do. I mean, you saw how fast it was, like that. It was just modifying an existing program very slightly without getting rid of that initial program and then changing some parameters. Very simple. So I'll add, I have two more. Oh, this is good. Let me film you. Yeah, hang tight for just a second. Okay. I'm gonna... 